spiders. They invade our imaginations and haunt our dreams. They often pop up when you least expect them, and there's no worse feeling than getting a face full of spiderweb. Among the largest of these creepy crawlies found in North America is the black and yellow garden spider, a common sight around homes in the weeks before Halloween. This species can grow to several inches in diameter, and looks like something which crawled right out of a scary story. But is there a reason to smush these animals because of their appearance? Will they bite you or a pet given the chance? Let's find out. Eating. Now this is a black and yellow garden spider. Uh, lots of people call them writing spiders. You see there in her web, there's that uh, kind of unique pattern. That's why they're called writing spiders. These might be one of the, besides wolf spiders probably, they're one of the spiders with the worst reputation uh, in the world of arachnid because they're big and yeah, they look super scary, but they're actually not aggressive spiders. And while they are venomous and they can bite just like any other spider, uh, they really don't have an aptitude for biting. We'll see how she feels today. Now, like I was saying, they're actually a species of orb weaver the largest species of orb weaver in North America. The golden orb weaver in Australia does surpass them in size, but these guys are the second biggest. And their her webbing is extremely strong. She knows they love everyone's right here. Um, can you feel my friends right here? Can you feel all my friends right here? Um, I was actually much show you. There's not any kind of evil spiders at all. No evil friends here. Yeah, so, golden, I mean, this isn't the golden, this isn't the golden. Oh dang, no. So she just dropped herself a little lifeline on the ground, but I think I finally have her in a position where I can, she doesn't want to be held. She's so big. Hey baby, all right, now, whew, there we go. Now, um, black and yellow garden spiders, are the biggest spiders that you're gonna see in North Carolina. And they look pretty spooky, but they are so hesitant to bite you. They don't wanna waste any venom. Uh, even a large female like this, who could inflict a pretty painful bite, has a pretty low likelihood of deciding to, depending on how much I irritate her. Now she could get in the way with me at any time and decide to give me a bite. Uh, she looks like she might be about to right now. But usually these guys are really calm. And if you see them around your house, or in your garden or something, there's a very low chance they're just gonna bite you or your kid or your dog or anything like that. Lots of people kill them, but you definitely, there is no need to kill these spiders. I mean, I, I pulled her out of her web, I'm holding her, and she hasn't bit me quite yet. So, you can also tell a lot about what how a spider's feeling based on their body language. Right now, I don't think she feels very secure. She still has a little bit of webbing attached to her, but she's kind of a new terrain. But once she starts moving again, I know she's feeling a little bit better. Uh, I always like interacting with spiders, not so much because I like spiders, but because just like snakes, spiders have an awful reputation as just being these really scary uh, animals that want to bite you. And just like snakes, oftentimes spiders are not really scary animals that just want to bite you. Uh, and this is a very important part of the ecosystem. In fact, spiders might be one of the most important parts of the ecosystem. As you know, spiders eat bugs uh, and other spiders. They eat insects, which include things like mosquitoes, which kill millions of people a year. Spiders are not responsible for that many deaths. And very few times, especially in the United States, are spiders responsible for any death. Usually, it's in other countries, third world countries, where they don't have the proper medical equipment to deal with a spider bite. Uh, and in countries like that, it's usually not like an orb weaver spider because these guys don't have very potent venom. The species, or I guess the genus of orb weavers does not. These guys uh, rely a lot more on their webbing to take out their prey, not their venom. Now she's, she's just an excited spider here. I guess we should name her Charlotte because as you know, the most famous, the famous riding spider is Charlotte. Let's see, she's a fast little thing. I just, I mean, spiders are cool. I'll give them that. I don't, spiders are spooky, but they are cool. And I'll show you really quick if she'll let me. 
that she has no interest in biting anybody. Now, if she gets under my shirt, that could be an issue. Let's just get her on my fingers here. Get her up. And there. Now, spiders don't want to hurt you. Spiders are just animals like any other animal, and they just want to go about their life in peace. They want to eat. They want to be safe. She's pretty comfortable right there. This would be a good, uh, good video if she bites me. That wouldn't be very nice. So she's pretty comfortable where she is. I'm not going to open my eye or anything. I'm just going to kind of be still. So as you can see, even a big spider, the biggest spider, in fact, that we have in North Carolina, really doesn't care about me. She just is absolutely fine as long as she's able to feed and able to survive and breed in peace. Let's get her off my face. There we go. All right, we'll put her back in the web now. Thanks, baby. All right, Charlotte has been a great subject for this episode. Right before I leave, I do want to remind you guys, this is the black and yellow garden spider, one of the most helpful arachnids there are. They are killing insects that you don't want around your house, like cockroaches, mosquitoes, flies. So if you do see these, I would leave them where they are. You don't have to store the webs. You certainly don't have to crush them. They're very peaceful arachnids, and all they want is to eat bugs which harm you. Thanks, Charlotte. Now what she's gonna do, she knows this is her web because each each spider's web has a unique chemical signature that they can detect. So what she's gonna do right now is she's gonna wrap up that fiber probably and she'll eat it. A spider like this, when it wants to move its web, will actually eat the web. It'll get those chemicals back and then it'll move to a different location and spin it again. A web like this is definitely not permanent. Uh, riding spiders usually destroy their webs, eat them, and spin them again, about every 24 hours. Well everyone, I really hope that you enjoyed today's special episode, and learned something new about the black and yellow garden spider. If you want to follow my daily adventures, feel free to check out my new blog and social media pages using the links in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch all of my new wildlife videos. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.